after the dot-com bubble and after the 2008 financial crisis, we have seen an incredible number of 1.4 million of millionaires created in, in the United States through the policy of money printing and reformed financial fault policies. It was that that, as we may see, that the gap between the rich and the poor have widened in our country. And many have been saying that the American dream is dead, that it no longer lives because of the incredible amount of wealth we created and the shift towards the upper class. However, based on my experience, I would like to say something otherwise. My favorite thing in the world is the ocean. Not because I was born in a city that's the farthest away from the ocean, but because of its vastness. It symbolizes endless human potentials, that the human ability is limitless, that it, it's as big as the ocean and it's as boundless as the ocean. I was born in a city in the northwest region of China, a city that's torn by ethnic tensions and violence. Growing up, seeing all these violence happening before my eyes, it wasn't unusual to witness bus bombing and explosions during New Year's. And that got me thinking, and that got me thinking to decide that economic development will solve all this problem in the end. I immigrated to the United States around the age of 10, and when I came here, I spoke no words of English. I thought English was the hardest language to learn, and I struggled initially. However, despite the foreign environment, I was able to learn English, and I was able to get into BYU. I knew that I wanted to do something with business at BYU, but not knowing which career path to take in business. It was during a trip in 2012 that I discovered my calling. I remember clearly that standing below the vast steel frame skyscrapers on Park Avenue, that I felt an immense amount of energy of human potential. And I know to achieve such, Wall Street was a place to start my career. I came back trying to find a mentor to help me get there. And one guy told me that I had no chance because I didn't know anyone who worked on Wall Street. And traditionally, Wall Street recruited vast and the majority of its talent pools from top Ivy League schools and other top schools across the world. So coming to Wall Street from the West were somewhat disadvantaged. Despite discouragement, I moved on because I knew that was my dream. And I kept going. I used my own money to fly to New York on endless trips. After many rejections, I was fortunate enough to land a job on Wall Street at one of the investment banks. And the reason I'm telling this is because I want to demonstrate that the American dream still lives. It's not a dream that's there to hand it to other people who are not working, but it is a dream who are giving to those who are prepared, who are willing to work hard, who are willing to adapt, and who are willing to persevere. And that's the magic of the American dream. It's giving to those people who are action takers rather than passive people. And through my example, I want to illustrate that even someone as ordinary as me can achieve my dream. Anyone else can, as long as they work hard, they adapt to the modern environment, and they persevere. And for that, I want to thank the founders and the architect of our nation to design a system where such dream can be achieved, where hopes and the human potential can reach the highest point in human history. Thank you.